Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. You know that I'm doing all the mornings the newspaper videos and I try to focus on information and give you actually the perfect traduction of what they are saying, what they are reporting and I cannot filter what is true, what is fake, I don't know. I try to link it with all the information we have from the papers, from online, from the sport journalists like Monblano, like Di Marzio, like all of them. I try to filter to understand and give you the truth. But at a certain moment, it's also good to give you, you my opinion. So I took three names, as the title is saying. I took Zeko, Edin Dzeko, Arkadius Milik and Raul Jimenez. Why am I taking three, three players and these three players to analyze? them it's because we see them every day on the front pages linked to Juve because Juventus it's not a secret is looking for a new number nine a new number nine that can replace Higuain we know that Higuain is doing difficulties difficulties to leave Juve we know it but it's nearly certain that we will not see him next season he gave what he had to give to Juventus we are grateful but it's time to move on so three different players the same style of players even if they have differences but we will try to analyze and try to understand who can fit better okay so we start with Edin Dzeko the one that has been reported in exclusivity by Monblano on the channel that is really interested because Juventus really like him they believe that he can be the best partner for Cristiano Ronaldo so Edin Dzeko is already 34 years old that's really old especially after the words of Agnelli who was saying that he want to rejuvenate the team this morning we were seeing also in the papers that they were saying Joff and dynamic players for the midfield maybe an experienced one for the striker so it's not an option that we have to forget it still is on consideration in consideration by Juventus so 34 years old yes but a lot of experience especially in Premier League and in Serie A this season he played already 35 games in Serie A on 38 that were possible to play that's a lot physical condition is good he scored 16 goal not bad for Zeko he did already more but this season 16 and 11 assist really good also why am I speaking about assist 11 because we know that Ronaldo is the top scorer for Juventus and that will not change we will play around Ronaldo so 11 assists is something that is really important if you want a partner for Ronaldo okay 34 years old he has a contract until 2022 also important to take into consideration he has a value today on transfer market of 11 I believe because I'm not sure but I believe that the price the selling price will be around the 20 millions the problem with Edge in Jaco is that he has a really high salary a salary of 7 or 7 1.5 million a year that's really a lot so if we are speaking about rejuvenating the team and lowering the salary mass Zeko is not in that category if we are looking of a par perfect partner for Cristiano Ronaldo absolutely yes he score goal he knows Serie A he do a lot of assists can be the perfect one then we have Arkadius Milik younger 20, uh, he is now 26 yeah 26 year, uh, years old the guy played only 51% of the available games in Serie A 26 games that's what he played 20, 51% in total of the games of Napoli but in Serie A 26 on 38 we know that he comes from two big injuries the guy was able to play 26 game he scored 11 goals and never did an assist so that's a big difference with Zeko with edge in Zeko five yellow card not really important not excessive so it's okay 26 years old we know the advantage of a uh, uh, Milik is that he has only one year of contract and that his salary is quite low i believe it's 2.5 million now so you see younger lower salary that enter in that category not a big assessment and that can be a, a problem because he's a real striker the thing with uh, Milik is that the guy can play as a bench player. He can be put on the bench without too much expectation. For sure he wants to play as a starter. 
Absolutely, yes. He wants to fight for it. He never won a lot in his career, so he has that hunger. He wants to, but if you want to play Dybala as a starter and you want to put Milik on the bench, that should not be a big problem. For sure, the, I heard some rumors that he's asking for a salary of 5 million euro, what is acceptable. And then we go to the third one, is Raul Jimenez playing at Wolverhampton. He did one of his best uh, seasons of his career. The guy is 29. So 29 years old, it's already, it's a between Milik and Edin Dzeko. This guy played, if I'm not wrong, let me check a bit, 38 games on 38. So it's 100% of the Premier League games, 95% of the total games played. He scored 17 goals, so one more goal than Edin Dzeko, six more than Milik. He did six assists, so it's again a mix between... Uh, Edin Dzeko and Arkadius Milik 11-0, he did 6, so not bad, and 3 yellow cards, the so lowest of the 3 players, because Edin Dzeko had 4. He has a contract until 2023, and that can be a problem, because the salary, if I found the right information, is also about 2.5 million euro, he would probably also go like Milik to a 5 million euro, salary is under control, but the value, he has a value of 40 million on transfer market, but Looks like Wolverhampton is not asking lower than 40, than 80 million, and that can be a problem. So, guys, we have three kinds of similar players. They all have their benefits and advantages, but they also have their problem. I recap really fast. Edin Dzeko, the age, that's a problem, and the salary. Then we have Milik, that at the moment his problem is injury prone. That's a big problem and he's not doing assist, but he can play on the bench. And then we have Raul Jimenez. What actually the problem is the, um, the transfer value, the money that we will have to play to Wolverhampton. So three players that can be ideal to play with Cristiano Ronaldo, but each of them have some problems. What is the last problem and the key and that's a really key moment to understand and to analyze it's Dybala because we have three real pure nine players three strikers that should play on the front a position where Dybala is playing today as a false on wave with other characteristics so where will Dybala play if we play with those ones if we take Milik I already told you he can play on the bench and Dybala can be a starter if we have the two other ones with or a big value or a big salary, they will have to be starters. That means that Dybala will have to play or as a Trey Quartista, a number 10 or on the right. So guys, at the day of today, we have not a clear idea who we will take. Paratici is trying to find the best solution. I believe that he has the same questions as I have today. Out of the three, who will be the best one to fit actually all the requests of Agnelli and Pirlo. Let's discover it in a few weeks because Mercato will start on the 1st of September and it's not excluded that instead of the three men, we will have a big surprise. So if you like that kind of video, please consider to subscribe and put a like on the video, comment what is according to you, the best player, one of those three, or Lacazette, or Icardi, or whatever. Let me know in the comments. Thank you, Forza. Juve.